Welcome back to the United Kennel Club Premier's Live Stage. I'm Stan Matsumoto, UKC Licensed Confirmation Judge, and here with me is Nicole Sedlicki, who is the director of major events. Yeah, thank you so much, Dan. We're so excited to be here. Are you excited? It's, I'm having a blast. Yeah, it's really, it's amazing how many dogs have sent in, well, owners have sent in their videos of their dogs for us to watch and be together at this virtual event. For those of you who don't know about UKC or Premier, Premier is UKC's largest all breed event that we offer. It has been in effect for 27 years. And because of today's circumstances, we weren't able to have it in person, but we're so glad that we can all be together in this virtual setting, have this competition and the social community together. It's wonderful. All right, so we've had the Guardian Group winner, the Which Appenzell. Which is the Appenzeller. Scent Hound was the Mountain Cur. The sight hound was the Whippet, and the gun dog group was the English Springer Spaniel. And we're halfway there. We are halfway there to Total Dog Best in Show. All right, we're gonna move on now to the Northern Breeds. Right. Judged by Kevin Izzard Carroll. Our Northern Breeds were essential to help the Arctic people. They're a very versatile dog, generally with heavy coats. They use them in so many different ways, you know, with herding, and companionship just to keep warm, mushing, sledding. Um, so they were so, they're so useful to those Northern people. They're usually pricked ears and their heritage is from the wolf ancestry. I can't wait, let's get started. All right, first with our Northern group, we have Finnish Lapland 501, Snow Venture Thunderstruck. Thunder is owned by Carrie Press of Cantwell River, British Columbia. And you can see where the Arcticness of this breed comes into play. Yeah, you are saying that. That, that Spitz-type breed with a face and the ears and the thick coat. Yeah, when you're, you're explaining the northern breeds, having that thick coat to help, you know, people of northern northern regions. So they can survive in those cold weathers. You're also saying that they, that they herd. They herd, and they were bred to herd reindeer. Reindeer, the Finnish Laplands. Yes, reindeer. Poor Rudolph, wouldn't know what was coming, huh? Oh my Look gosh. Look how cute that is. Beautiful. All right, next we have Chinese Sharpe 502. Ricketts Opal of Our Eye. Opal is owned by Lori Birkins of Sparta, Michigan. Oh my gosh, what a cute name. Opal of My Eye. These were, um, Farm dogs, actually bred to be farm dogs, and they did a multitude of different tasks, like we talked earlier before. They guarded, and they uh, did herding. They protected, and uh, some of the Chinese people used them as uh, fighting dogs. Hence the loose skin. I was gonna ask, what is that loose skin for? So that if prey or another dog gets on them, the loose skin protects their, their organs and their skin, and it just, there's no... There's no internal damage? Yes, yes. You can tell us, opal, opal of my eye. Just a oh, puppy. The hallmark quality of this breed is they have to have. Ooh. Now, if it's, um, they can also have a lilac color tongue too. There's a three, three different variety, three different coat types. There's a horse coat, a brush coat, and they call a uh, tweeny and it's in between those two coats. Oh, <laughs> tweeny. Oh, it's a little, a little puppy getting her training in. Oh, well, says, I'm not moving that way. <laughs> Let's go this way instead, Mom. And she's not sure. I just can't get over this woman running and showing this dog on... On gravel with, with no with shoes no on. With no shoes, yes. <laughs> she's tougher than... She's, yeah, she's tougher than Opal's pads. <laughs> yeah. Opal says no. She, she Opal Can feels. We just go the grass? Opal feels the lead and says, "I'm not moving." Little Opal, what a cute name! All right, next we have Alaskan Klee PRHDs, Might of Monjor. Enzo. These were supposed to be 
toned down Siberian Huskies. You know, this, but this clique eye, um, it's owned by Anna Yarvin mm -hmm. of Finland. See, and there you go. Gosh. This is a variety breed. Yes, they have toy miniature standard. Yes. But all of them are, are pretty small. I mean, how? They're all table breeds yes. regardless. But you could see if you blew this dog up in scale, it would look like a Siberian Husky without the tail. Well, all the over the back. The tail being curled yeah. over the back. Enzo came from a breeder in England. We live in Finland. He loves confirmation and attention. And she says that we would love to have more shows here in Finland. UKC shows. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to go. This breed has come a long way. When they're first recognized by UKC, they were a little, uh, what would you call, flighty? And I, not cooperative? And I remember the temperaments of them bit, were a bit. <laughs> you wouldn't get bit by one of those. Yeah, they were but a bit they have, questionable. I, I applaud, every time I judge them, I applaud the owners because they've really brought this breed. This is Alaskan Clique High, Kina Sandstone, Bambi. Again, she looks like a Bambi, look at her. Owned by Anna. Yarvin in Finland. And she was named after the Disney yeah. character Bambi. And you said she looks like a Bambi, yeah. and her owner wrote, she looks like a Bambi. <laughs> but she does, <laughs> she when, does. when you said her she name. She makes like a little, like a small little, little princess. Fawn. Yes, a little princess. She's leggy, it's those delicate, fine bones. But this is when a judge walks in the ring, they want a dog to look stallion-y like a dog, mm -hmm. and a girl to look like a girl, a feminine dog. But going back to what you're saying about the temperaments of the of the breeds, um, and how you always applaud. Oh, the, absolutely. I I ring stewarded for you um, at one of our major events when we had a huge Klee-Kai. Down in Gateway, yes. Yep, huge Klee-Kai entry, and yeah, all of those dogs were. Very mentally sound. Mm -hmm. I, I give kudos to people with sound mentally dogs. Little Bambi. <laughs> okay, we now have Chinese Sharpay 505. Chase Stir Fry and Fortune Cookies. That's a cool <laughs> name. That's a cute name. That is very cool. <laughs> Chinese Sharp Fortune Cookies. So Cookie is owned by Tina Chase of Comstock Park, Michigan. Oh, cookie. Cookie doesn't want any cookies though. <laughs> and watch, she's gonna show us their tongue. See? Oh yeah. And she should open her mouth. There you go. Wow, There's that your black tongue. tongue. Well, it's and making me scrinch walking, watching her walk on the <laughs> gravel. Uh, Tina says that we call Cookie our brains and beauty dog. She's well balanced with titles at both ends. The video that she said, oh my gosh, look at her tail just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell she's a bit more mature. She's more mature right, than that puppy. Right, than the puppy. And see all of its, all of her wrinkles mm -hmm. go all the way down her back. Their gait is a bit different than than some other breeds. Yes. A bit more stilted. Like the chow. Yes, you're absolutely right. Good girl. This is Chinese Sharpay. Chase's Breaking the Law. Healy, owned by Tina Chase of Comstock Park, Michigan. Healy still had, Owner Tina says, Healy still has puppy brain. Very loving and loyal, but not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. <laughs> but he'll grow into it. His performance video was of him doing weight pull. Oh. Oh, 
Let's see that tongue. I there. saw it. See? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all of that. <laughs> and it's funny when you, you always know a Sharpay when they shake because that skin starts to flop and once it is goes. It like, is it like applause, like all the clapping? Absolutely, because <laughs> it's just flopping side to side. Oh, that's so funny. All that flesh on the nose too really gives them a distinct appearance. Well, it's supposed to have kind of a hippopotamus kind of puffy. It looks just puffy. like a It's supposed to be puffy. It looks just and when like they a stress, they deflate. Really? Yes, yes. If they're sick or they, de they, they stress, they de will deflate. And you'll see a lot of judges, when they judge a dog, they take the dog's head and they actually feel the puffiness of the mm -hmm. dog's muscle. And you can tell he's, look how wiggly yeah. he is. What a happy boy. His tail's actually going in circles. <laughs> Little corkscrews. Okay, this is Chinese Sharpay 507. Stony shapes of the, shape of the future, clay. Again, oh my Tina. Tina Chase of Comstock Park, Michigan. Clay has a rally video. I love that name too. Shape of the Future. I started I started taking pottery lessons this, mm -hmm. this winter. His, uh, his pigment, I mean, like cookies was like more black. This one seems a bit more blue. Um, maybe not, I don't know, it could just be. Just some angles I thought that. <laughs> He's not interested in that no, cookie. No, it must be hot. <laughs> And she's running still in the gravel. Looks, this is her fourth dog now running in the gravel. She must be doing a lot of gardening. Has, has those calluses looked up. Nice Sharpay entry. You don't see, you don't see a ton no, of Sharpays. No. They were real popular a while back when they first were recognized, but they kind of faded. Now, All right, and this you'll is... notice the color on this dog's tongue. It won't be black, it'll be what they call lilac. This is Chinese Sharpay 508. Chase twinkling star in the sky, Tinder up. Owned by Tina Chase. Tinder also did Rally Obedience time. as her performance event. Yeah, it's kind of lilac. Premium meat.com. Don't forget if you have a dog sitting at home watching virtual premiere, take a picture, send it to us on social media. We'd love to see them. Hashtag virtual premiere 2020. Okay. We also have events happening in our sessions with live Q&As, UKC reps, judges and clubs. And go check out the expo room. Say hi to the Yukinuba reps in, the, in, their, in their booth and enter to win an Orca cooler. This is entry 509, Kai. Hiya Kai's lab member 004, maybe 004, Kurisu. Ancient Japanese breed. Wow, yeah, you never, you, you don't see these very often. This dog is um, owned by Tane Rose out in Washington State. Look at that brindle pattering, pattering. It's, brindle it's pattering. That, they call it that sesame marking and notice the tail. The tail should be a sickle shape. 
And there it is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful right off the dog's back, top line. I love, expression. I was gonna say, I love it, her expression. Teresa is my bred by bitch that is an absolute superstar. She has so much fun showing and doing sports. She is in Akatora, it means red brindle. You're right. So when you say expression, what are you referring to? When you look at the dog from a front on view, you want to look at the eyes, you want to look at the ears, and they must have this attentiveness. And she's got a beautiful shaped eye. She's got beautiful ears, beautiful size of ear. You don't want a big ear on this dog because if it's a big ear, it gets- It gets cold, right? And bitten off. Beautiful outline on this dog. Have you seen this dog in person? Yes. All right, next we have Alaskan Klee Kai 510, PRHD's Blotter Jagerson. Pippin. And look where it's from. Owned by Marie Jacobson in Norway. Yes. My goodness. Look at that face. Look at that. Is that, that a Siberian <gasps> face toned down? Look at that. Just want to smush it. Good job keeping the dog calm. Doesn't really want to do it. And she just gives it a pet, keeps it calm. Look at the background too, those mountains in the background. You can really see that this is a thick lovely double, dog. that thick double coat. Yes, that Arctic, quote unquote, mm -hmm. Arctic spitz like. He really holds himself together well when he's right. moving. I mean, like his top lane isn't bouncing. He's just kind of, he looks, look he at, moves and, the way that he stands. And that's how they should look. That's gorgeous. Very pretty. Just lovely. All the way from Norway. And we have American Eskimo 511. Miramar's Fiji Blaze. Blaze is owned by Lorraine Utaik of Rochester, Minnesota. From the owner, Blaze is happiest when he's working. He likes to show off in the confirmation ring, cross the drag race finish line, and perform tricks and commands for an audience. He is also a loving therapy dog to his family and was the top 10 American Eskimo dog in 2018 and 19. And you could see the Arctic characteristics of this breed. Um, important keynote on this breed, they must single track. And this dog single tracks beautifully. Nice almond shaped eye, small ear, beautiful coat, beautiful condition. Nice outline. When I was ring storying for you at Gateway, mm -hmm. you had a huge American Eskimo lineup. And I had no idea how you were able to pick between all of the white dogs, you know, like. They're just not a white dog. You, <laughs> you, you, you find Hallmark qualities and you just go with the overall picture. Well, that's what makes you a good judge. Because to me, I was like, oh my gosh. It was, it was like, uh, what's it called, like Snowblind? Yeah. And this is the last one, Klee Kai, 512. HD's Destiny of the Gods. Eric, owned by Elena Darlin. Over in the UK. This Northern group, man, they are worldly. Yes. Elena says that Eric enjoys nothing more than going on his annual trip to America from the UK with his owner and breeder, Elena, for UKC premiere. Or in the case of last year, his biannual trip, as he also attended UKC Gateway in 2019. And I spoke to this woman at Gateway. What does Eric love most about America, you may ask? Well, Arby's, of course. Oh, it's gotta be food. <laughs> Which he gets at the end of each show day for being the goodest boy. <laughs> All right, and we now have Alaskan Klee Kai 
513. HDs, maybe she's born with it. Mischief. Owned by Elena. Again, from? From the UK. Yeah. Oh, look, she's got three of them right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're in the background cheering, cheering on Mischief. Alani says that unlike most Klikai, Missy, or Mischief, does not like to walk. And as such, in being a mere 10 pounds and toy size, she has come with, with an ingenious tactic upon where she walks, she will launch herself into the arms of her owners. <laughs> She is little. But she's that, a she. That toy, yes. that, but she's that yes. toy variety. Here we have Alaskan Klee Kai. 514 HD's disorderly conduct. <laughs> Mayhem. Husband's first time handling a show dog. Well, that's okay. And here, folks, is a perfect example. It's written on the bottom. Husband's first time handling a show dog. He's doing it. Yeah. He's doing a great job. And, you know, something that people love about UKC, I, I think every UKC show I've been to, there has been someone there that says, this is my first time. Brand spanking I've new. I've never done this before. And the people at, the, at UKC shows. Very supportive. They're so supportive, always willing to help. The club members have time to sit and help you. The judges have time to help you. Explain things. If you if you thought about showing dogs, just just go out and try it. Right. You know, sign up for a UKC it's fun. show. It really is fun, especially when you when you start winning. You know, when I when I started, I was just I was there to kind of show show the loot, like bring the other dogs back in. You know, until you get that first blue ribbon. Well, and then it's downhill from there. I was there. like, I just kind of told my mom, okay, I want to I want to win now, so I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll start trying. Oh, more. here we have more than one again. This is Alaskan Klee Kai HD's Twilight of the Gods, Cooper, owned by Elena Darlin of the of Kingsley, Northampton, UK. Cooper participates in agility. Cooper can fall asleep doing everything, even being groomed with a force dryer or while carrying his toys, a trait he has passed on to his son. We now have Alaskan Klee Kai 516, HD's Queen of Spades, Ivy, owned by Elena Darling, again of Kingsley, Northampton, United Kingdom. Oh, there's some more inside, look, through the door. Oh yeah, they're cheering for Ivy, or maybe not, maybe they're trying to win. Right. What do you think? I think they're trying to win. They want their turn. <laughs> Big yard for the dogs to run. I like that pretty gray agouti coat. There's some horses in the background. We have Japanese Akita 517, Dormi's Go Kisha Kai Joso. Buna is owned by Amber Esfield of Cottage Grove, Minnesota. This is a breed our judge Kevin Izzer Carroll owns at Japanese Akitas. And campaigns shows. What is the difference between a Japanese Akita and the Akita? Oh, there's a lot of difference. <laughs> uh, the Japanese Akita is a Japanese Akita. The Akita, which is an American Akita, is totally different. 
totally different. I can really tell um, a big difference in the ear set. Ear set um, a little bit, but it's the head type and it's the body style. The bone, it's a lot finer bone than the American Akita. Correct. But the way that the, those ears are kind of like hooded over. They're supposed to be pitched and the American Akita as well is mm -hmm. supposed to be pitched, but they're supposed to have a triangular shaped eye. Moving on, we have another Klee Alaskan Klee Kai. 518 PR Lovell Cosmic Dancer, Cosmo, owned by Stephanie Rowlett, a farm borough, Hampshire, in the UK, again. I didn't realize there's so many of these Klee Kai's in the UK. American breed, but the breeders have really gotten their dogs out into other parts of the world to share the breed. But I can see, understand why, you know, oh, yeah. in Europe and uh, the scale down size of the dog. Probably what a, a cute dog. Big dog wow. in a little package. <laughs> His owner says that he's the biggest clown and loves meeting new people so he can make them laugh. This is our last dog of the group, Alaskan Klee Kai 519. Al Kai's save the best for last. Oh, how fitting. With it being the last dog in the group. And again, okay. it's not from the US, it's from? This is from Canada. Ontario, yeah. yeah. This is Zipper, owned by Zena Campbell. Okay. Zipper is an incredibly resilient little Klee Kai who thinks he can accomplish anything. Not even being hit by a car or three orthopedic surgeries can stop him. Wow. Oh my That's goodness. That's not that much dog to be no. hit by a car. I, no kidding, you say nothing can stop this dog. I like his little spunky attitude. You can just tell. Mm-hmm, totally. <laughs> a distinct mask. When you, when you uh, read the Klee Kai Breed Standard, they talk about that mask in great detail. Okay, that wraps up the Northern group. Before we speak to Kevin Izzard Carroll to see who his picks are, we'd like to first thank Yukonuba, our performance dog nutrition partner. Sporting dogs give us everything we ask and then some. Their nutrition should do the same. When we come back, we will be talking to our judge, Kevin. This is no ordinary puppy. And this is no ordinary story. This is the tale of a hero in the making. He is born, raised, and fed to rise to any challenge. Because he is no ordinary dog. He's a Yukonuba dog. Yukonuba provides animal proteins and high levels of DHA for a strong body and mind. Feed the extraordinary in your puppy and make your dog a Yukonuba dog. All right, we just saw the Northern Group and are waiting to hear who Kevin picked for his placements. Hey guys, thanks again. Uh, next up for me is the Northern Group, uh, the group that basically triggered my passion for confirmation dogs many years ago. Um, thank you to everyone for their entries. I truly appreciate it. Lots of good variety here. Um, it was the one I spent the most time on uh, judging, uh, going back and forth, particularly between my first and second. Uh, but thank you once again to everyone for the entries. Fourth place, the American Eskimo Dog, number 511. Third place, number 510, the Alaskan Klee Kai. 
Uh, second place went to the Finnish Lapund, number 501. And my best in Northern group in the dog going on to best in show goes to the beautifully balanced and moderate Kai, number 509. I've had the pleasure of judging this dog in the past. A very, very good example of the breed and really, really nice to see the, such a rare breed uh, coming out on top. So congratulations, credit to the breeder, credit to the owner. Thank you guys again for all your entries. Talk soon, bye. The Kai. Oh, yes. 509. 509 Carisu, owned by Tane Rose of Washington State. Congratulations on moving on to Total Dog Best in Show. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to have our largest group, the herding group. Until then, make sure to go check out the booths and the sessions, and we'll see you soon. And don't forget to send in your videos. We want to see your dogs. Yes, send us pictures of your dogs on Instagram and Facebook. Hashtag virtual premiere 2020. See you soon. <laughs>